The Bible tells us that when the Lord Jesus came into the world, he came to restore the whole world order. I was in Central Park in New York City. At that time, the Moonies were in their heyday, the followers of the so-called Reverend Sun Myung Moon. And uh, they were having a God Bless America campaign, and they were gathering people to come to uh, Madison Square Garden to hear Moon speak. As I was walking through, one of these Moonies came to me and invited me to this campaign. And I said, well, look, I have a fundamental problem. And I share it with all these people in the park here. And if you have an answer to it, I'll come and hear it. This young man said, well, what's your problem? And I said, the problem is my personal sin. What's your answer to that? And he said, well, the answer, of course, is that you suffer in this life for your sins. I said, do you believe that? I mean, have you examined the evidence? Adolf Hitler living at Bethes Garden with the uh, uh, wine, women, and song while Jews were being burned in the crematoria? Doesn't seem to jive with what I see. I see a young mother, uh, four kids, driving down the road and some drunk crossing over and hitting her and she dies and he lives. It seems to me that life, this life, is very unfair. All kinds of tragedies, all sorts of horrible things happening. To say that we pay for our sins in this life, I hardly think there's any justice in the world if that's true. You know, you have to face up to the big issue. This is the human dilemma. Sin has done terrible damage. Does your belief system have an answer to that? The Bible does. The Bible tells us that when the Lord Jesus came into the world, he came to save sinners. It was because of what we were and what we had done that Christ went to the cross. Can you imagine standing before God someday and him looking at you and saying, oh yes, I recognize you. You're the one who's guilty of the death of my son and you never repented of it. But he didn't just come to save sinners from their sin. He came to make all things new. In the beautiful words of Scripture, the Lord Jesus came to restore that which he took not away. Of course, it hasn't happened yet, has it? And the Bible tells us that when the Lord said to his son, the father said to his son, Son, sit here at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. In other words, that's his schedule. It didn't happen all at once. And no, it won't happen all at once. But God guarantees that there's a day coming when all the books will be balanced and all things set right, and righteousness will feel at home on this planet. Grace will reign through righteousness, and righteousness will dwell here. Righteousness will not be a stranger anymore in the world. God will set everything right.